Hey up everyone, um, a couple of people have asked me if I can do a video on the techniques I use for white metal soldering um, so I thought I'd just do a quick one now um, to show how I solder sides of wagons together. It's not a how-to video on actually building a complete white metal wagon kit, it's literally just a video on how I gain uh, good joints on white metal because the techniques needed are a bit different to um, brass. But the example we're using today is this 51L models uh, diagram G2 covered a good wagon uh, in NER condition. Uh, these are purchased through Wizard Models. I can't remember how much this one cost me. I think it was around £20. It's a good kit. Recommended getting for any uh, people wanting to have a go at white metal wagons. Um, as you can see, I've already had a go at two halves. It's not completely finished yet. That's only a tack joint, and I'll show you how I properly join that up in a couple of minutes. So let's get into it. If I try and pan the camera around, you can see that the soldering iron I am using is a Atten 937, set to around 250 degrees. That's about perfect for white metal. For brass, you'd go for around 350, but for white metal, 250 is perfect. So these are the two sides that I'll be soldering up now for you. Um, I've already cleaned them up. Again, like I say, this isn't a full how-to on white metal wagon building. This is just how to do the soldering technique. So if you'd like me to go more in depth on how I solder everything together, um, I'll be more than happy to in another video. But like I say, this is just the two actual joints themselves. So it's probably been cleaned up. All of the bits of flash have been filed off. So we should be able to get some nice joints on this. Now, what I do is, of course, first you need to make sure you have good flux. This is from London Road Models, and it's pretty, pretty good stuff, you ask me. I've used quite a few different manufacturers of flux, and I think that's, that one's a pretty good one, as far as I'm concerned. So what we're aiming to do now is just sort of get a good tack joint. This isn't a structural joint. This isn't a joint that will hold the model together for the rest of its life, this is just a tack, so we can make sure that things are true and square. So how I like to do it, you just sort of pincer the two halves together as well as you can with one hand, just sort of making visual checks to see if it's as close as 90 degrees as we can get it. You're also checking for down the side, you're looking for any splits in the white metal. I can't really get that to focus. So we're looking for any splits down the side of the white metal as we're holding it. We want to get it as nice as we possibly can. And I think if we soldered that, that's actually a pretty good one. I'll be happy with that if we pull that off. And that's what it sort of looks like on the inside. But you see the gaps at the bottom? We're not worried about them because we can fill them in with solder. And if you actually see, you can't really tell that bad once wagons together and that will be covered by the solder once we solder it together. So you have to excuse me if this video isn't uh, of a very good quality. It's one of my first how to's and I am, um, well I've had no practice at actually recording videos and doing it. It's hard enough doing it one handed let alone talking to a camera. So with a paintbrush and the flux, brush that in the gap. You can never have too much flux. And this is our stick of white metal solder. You can't use electrical solder for white metal. That's very important. You have to use proper white metal solder. And our soldering irons come to temperature. We need a chiseled tip. Like that. A pinpoint tip won't really do the job. So make sure you've got a chiseled tip. They're not expensive. I think probably a couple of quid for a big pack. So how we make the joint is we take our chisel tip soldering iron and we stab the white metal and sort of drag it over a piece of wood like that. And we're trying, we're looking for that, the balling of the white metal itself. There we go, that's, that's more perfect. Once we've done that, we can put the soldering iron back. Double make sure that our tack holding position is okay. Apply more flux, because you can never have too much, you can always clean it off later. Pick up 
one of the little balls that we've made of solder, drop it in the middle, you're looking for exactly in the middle, like that. Again, double check that we have a approximate 90 degree angle on those two halves. Let's see that's about right. We have our chiseled tip iron. All we're going to do is we're going to do a quick stab like that. And that's actually not gone too brilliantly. That's not as good as the uh, first attempt I did. But that's okay because I can now show you how we correct mistakes. So if we get a big set square like this, obviously that is a perfect 90 degree angle. So we could use this. If you place the wagon class on it like that, and we press the side up against the other side, you should, if I can zoom in on that, be able to see how far off we are. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see that we're not actually a million miles off, but it's still too far off for a accurate joint. So what I'm going to do is lay the wagon flat like that. And I'm gonna coax the, the end of the wagon. Just bend it ever so slightly. So we can get more of a 90 degree angle. So as you can see there, I'm holding the wagon at perfect 90 degrees. The tack joint is holding the force of the two paths, so it's not going to go anywhere like that while I'm pulling on it to make it exactly 90 degrees. If I let go, it kind of springs back. So while I'm putting pressure on it this way to pull it out to 90 degrees, I'm going to apply more flux, like that, and let the flux run into all the whole length of the model, all the cracks and crevices. It's quite a good angle so you can see. There we go. So you can see our tiny bit of solder in the middle. I'm not quite happy with how much we've got there. So, if I get another little ball of solder that we made earlier, place that in the middle like that. I have to agree, uh, forgive me here, because I think I'm going to cover the camera for what I'm doing with the iron. So if I try and come in from this angle, you might be able to see. There we go. So I've got plenty of solder and I'm putting pressure on it to make it a complete 90 degrees and the tack joint is holding it in place while I do so. Hopefully you saw what I did there. I applied heat to the blob of solder at the tack joint and I ran it up the model. So hopefully now that has made it a complete structural 90 degrees. And that extra bob of solder we put in, I'm going to just apply more flux just to be safe. That extra bob of solder there, when I apply heat to that now, should fill in those gaps at the bottom. You want to be careful with white metal because white metal melts relatively low temperature i believe it's about 90 degrees so you want to be quick in out it's not like brass we have to let the heat soak into the metal or anything it's a quick in and out job and the actual heat of me doing that i've just noticed has caused this handrail that i soldered earlier to come loose but no worries we'll address that in a minute so that is the joints that we've just done. And I think that's a pretty good one. I'm happy with that. I can't see, I can see a tiny bit of daylight towards the bottom, but if we look from the outside, it's hardly, hardly noticeable. But just for the purists out there, I'll correct that is going to be dead easy but what isn't going to be dead easy is doing it in a way you can see so i'll describe it first i'm going to apply more flux 
to the full length of the model, particularly at the bottom, and quickly with the iron, I'm just going to go in and drag the solder down towards the solder bar at the bottom, and that should fill in that gap nicely. Some more plugs. Okay, so that hasn't quite done the trick. So what I'm going to do instead is add an extra blob of solder and that's going to act like a filler. So using the iron to stab our bar of solder. And that's on a sheet of wood. I'm going to coax in our little blob, blobby, and again, that has filled in that little gap. It's not the cleanest of joints now, but being a covered fan, that's not too important. Just annoyed at that little brass handrails coming done. I'll try and coax that in. Yeah. So if I can just bend that into position. There we go. do for me. Apply a little bit of solder at flux even. Now this time I'm going to put some solder on the tip of my iron. And just probably from this angle from the top down. And that's left quite a big ball on the handrail. So once that's set, so once that ball of solder there, as you can see, it doesn't look too attractive from up here. So once that's cooled down and hardened, uh, I'll just take some files to it and just gently file that down. But for now, that's structurally sound, so I'm going to carry on. So if I marry it up to the other half in true Blue Peter fashion that I did earlier, you should. be able to coax something together that resembles a G2 goods van. And now we've already got two halves of a hole. The whole thing holds itself together a lot better. So what I'm going to do now is now I'm happy with that. That's just me applying light pressure and the whole thing sort of pulling itself together. Once I'm happy with one end, so I'm, I'm going to solder this one now. Once I'm happy with how it's looking, uh, it's flush at the bottom, flush at the top, no massive air gaps. I repeat exactly the same process. Let's try and zoom in so I can give you a better, better shot. So I've applied some flux. on the half, zoom out a bit in case I accidentally cover it, Oops. and you're forgetting, we take a blob of solder that I made earlier by stabbing the main bar that comes with it, as you can see it there, main blob of solder, and then we just press it down and drag it the full length of our model. And that's the joint we've just done there. Hopefully you can see that's pretty good. And from the exterior, the 
yeah, that's that's bang on that. I'm happy with that. Next one we're going to do is Mullah's actually holding itself together so well that I couldn't work out which one we haven't done yet. It's that one there. Again, exactly the same process. Except this time it's even easier because there's just there's three sides solid now. So the whole thing is just pulling itself together. It wants to be a hole now. Solder at flux down the joint. We've actually run out of our little solder nuggets, so hopefully you can see this. Flick a stab and pull. Just to make some of these little solder nuggets. And now we're just coaxing them into position, roughly in the middle. Like that, a bit more flux, a good look. That was a pretty good joint, but I ran out of solder at the top. Yeah, I couldn't quite drag it to the top in time. I do apologise for the focusing on this, I know it's not brilliant. But that's a pretty good joint, we could leave it at that. But the flexures in me will know that the top isn't as well soldered as the rest of it. So again, more flux. Another solder nugget, pressing it into the corner this time. And I'm actually going to go in from sort of this angle now, so I'm going to go in from the back so I can get the chisel at the top. have it. A white metal wagon. The four sides all soldered up in less than 17 minutes. So what we're looking for on a good solder joint is a long shiny, not dull, shiny drag. like that, that goes the full length of the wagon. If it's dull, the solder joint is brittle, it might not hold. Now I've just actually realised that on one of them we've still got a tack joint rather than a full length joint, which I'm glad I spotted that because that would have really annoyed me later on. So I'll zoom back out again. It's that one we need to do. So back in again with the solder, flux even. Another solder nugget, focusing it towards the top. There we are, perfect. that is how you solder a white metal wagon. So just to recap, good flux, always important. Uh, Slaters do a good one, London Road models do a good one. Solder, you cannot use electrical or brass oil, you've got to use white metal solder. That is probably, if you can take one thing away from this video, that is the most important thing. You can't solder white metal kits with any other solder apart from white metal. A good soldering iron, with a chiselled tip that isn't wanting to focus. Okay. And temperature set around 250 degrees Celsius or about 500 degrees Fahrenheit. So I hope you found that interesting. Like I say, quick video on how to solder white metal as opposed to um, a full wagon build. If you'd like to see a wagon build in full detail, going through cleaning it up, uh, constructing W lines, brass details, and the main con uh, soldered construction itself. Do let me know. But I hope you found this useful.
And if you've got any questions, please do leave them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them later on. Thanks very much.